everyone and welcome back to my art channel and so I am finally getting around to doing this demo which has been a request I've gotten from several of my viewers and that is a demo on how to paint rocks so today I'm going to use this picture as uh, just kind of an inspiration of, uh, to paint some rocks and I'll give you some tips on how to do that. Now, by rocks, I'm I'm thinking for today's demo, rocks in terms of like landscape and seascape and those kinds of rocks. So I will show you the colors that I'm going to be using today. And they are white. Whatever kind of white you have is fine. Titanium white. If you have flake white, that's fine too. Yellow ochre. Raw umber. Ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. Uh, and if you have transparent oxide red, you could also use that in place of the burnt sienna. Either is fine. Anyway, so basically, to paint rocks, there's two things you have to remember: uh, that rocks are are going to be generally angular for the most part. Now, not always. I know there's some river rocks that can be very rounded. Uh, but rocks come off more more realistically typically if they're angular and you kind of look at their overall shape and form and don't try to get too detailed in, into painting all the little texture. Uh, but just try to remember that, you know, they have, they have angles in them that are typically sharp. So they'll have light sides and dark sides. So that's a helpful place to kind of start from. So... Typically what I do is I put in my darks first. So I'm taking a mixture here of raw umber and burnt sienna to get kind of a warmish dark brown. And just thin that out with a little bit of thinner. And we'll just paint in these rocks here, sort of. So we're just painting in the dark shapes first. And this is just sort of an approximation because you're going to come in here and, and shape these. So and I won't do the whole thing. I'll just do several of them. So you can kind of get a sense of what I'm doing here. Okay. darker okay so there's just some suggestions uh, of some of the dark areas and just to you know, let's go ahead and put a little a little of the water color of the water in just to kind of orient ourselves here so the waters and that way we get a sense of kind of where we are in the picture. Okay, so Okay, so there's your water. Okay, so so the key to painting rocks, like I said, is to try to put some of your darks in first. Um, and then come in with your lighter areas. And here I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and white. And you can mix a little raw umber in that, with that just to 
And then let's get another mixture going over here with some burnt sienna in it just to give it a little bit of a warmer tone. So as with other shapes, you're going to have kind of mid shadows and then your light parts. So, but rocks are angular. So you can come in here and do, you know, and I'm using a flat brush here. I'm just kind of put in these angular strokes like that. And they will sometimes have pieces that come down into the shadow so you can do like suggestion of another surface here like that and then come in with your lighter your sunlit area on this side See, but, um, so that's kind of the key to getting rocks to work is, is to paint them in sort of those chunky. I'm seeing some cooler tones in this other part of the picture. We'll bring a little cool light into that. So, because down here that rock's almost the same color as the water. But if you paint it with those sort of chunky angular strokes like that, that will kind of get, give your rock that sort of essential rockiness look to them. This one comes down here like this. And there's a dark area under here. And I missed a little dark in there. So I hope that it's sort of coming across clearly how I'm doing this. You know that I'm that I'm using those those short sort of angular chunky strokes to put in the shapes and that that's what's helping give the rocks sort of their form. So I'm just using different mixtures here of, of the colors, you know, the burnt sienna, the raw umber, the white, the yellow ochre. Um, So that's that's sort of your key to painting rocks is to to use those sort of short chunky strokes like I said and then keep your keep your shape somewhat angular and squared off, you know. And 
el sábado See, and then you can use the light colors to come in over top of the dark and kind of pick out some of your your light light areas like that. So anyway, I hope that gives you somewhat of a, a fair idea of how to do it. Um, and again, just to reiterate, you know, to put your darks in first and then shape the darks with, with the lighter colors by using these sort of chunky angular strokes. Uh, and typically seascape rocks, this is kind of a tip just for seascapes. Seascape rocks, you will typically get these light areas near where the rocks are wet. I didn't quite, but, but near where the rocks are wet, you'll typically get these lighter areas that have some, some blue in them. So they're not blue, blue, but they're like a grayish sort of blue color. So if you put some of the, that color in, you'll, you'll get that sort of wet sea rock look to it. It's to be a little bit lighter there. So anyway, so I hope that that helps you um, navigate painting rocks in your landscapes a little bit and it clears up some uh, confusion that you may have been having in your own work. So I thank you so much for watching and I wish you good luck in your painting. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time.